Hey art friends, today we're gonna draw another Lamborghini. Which one are we gonna draw this time? The Aventador. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along with us. What do they need for this art lesson? A marker, or something to draw with, some yep. paper, and something to color with. All right, let's get started. Yes. We're gonna draw the front view of our car. So first, let's draw two lines, one on each side of our paper. Now this is for the, for the wheels. Yeah, and we want them to be the same length and also the same height on our paper. Good job. Now down at the bottom, we're gonna draw a line that comes in like this, but we're not gonna go all the way across. And then we're also gonna draw a line that comes in the same distance on the other side. So if you want, you could use a ruler or just use your eyes to guess on the distance to try to make those equal on both sides. Then we're gonna draw a short diagonal line up on both sides and towards the middle. Then we're gonna connect those two lines straight across. Good job, we, we drew the bottom of our Lamborghini. Now let's draw the top. We're gonna draw a curve that comes up on both sides. We want these to match because if you were to draw a line right down the middle, it'd be the same on both sides, which means symmetrical. Yes. That's the big word for it. We're drawing the wheel arch or the part of the body that goes over the wheels. So now we're gonna draw a line that comes in and I'm actually angling it slightly down. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side and we want these to match. Just use your eyes to kind of guess on the distance and also the angle. But if you really wanna get crazy, you can use a ruler and measure things. Let's extend this a little closer to the inside or the center of our car. So we want this line to go just past. If you were to draw a line straight up from this corner, we're just past it. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So just bring it in closer to the middle. Okay, and now we're gonna connect these two lines together with another straight line. Okay, now we're gonna start over here on this side and we're gonna draw a line that goes all the way across. And we're just gonna curve it slightly down. So we're gonna start here about halfway down this, this side line. And we're gonna come down just a little and then we're gonna curve back up. So we just want it to curve right in the middle of that line, in the middle of the car. So come down a little bit and start curving back up and end in the same place on the other side. You did it. Next, we're gonna draw two points. We're gonna put one point over here. It's gonna be just below that, that curve that we just drew. And we're gonna come in just a little bit. We'll do the same thing over here. Just put a point just below that line. Yeah, and the same place on the other side. Like right here. Yeah, that's a good spot. Then we're gonna draw a sideways V. So we're gonna almost come out and touch the side and then we're gonna angle back in. We'll do the same thing over here. Almost touch the side, then angle back. Now we're gonna start over here on the side and we're gonna come underneath that V. So we'll draw a line that matches the bottom of our car. And we're gonna stop a little before we get to this edge. We can do the same thing on the other side before we get to this other diagonal line right here in the middle. Then we're gonna draw a big diagonal line going up in the same direction as this one over here, but we're gonna go higher. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Cool. Now let's connect those two lines. I like turning my paper sideways. Sometimes I think that makes it easier to draw a straight line. Now we're gonna come back to that sideways V and we're gonna draw another line that comes in and matches that bottom line. And you can stop short. Then we're gonna draw that same line on this side. We'll come in and stop before you get to the diagonal line. All right, now we're gonna draw the same thing. We're gonna go up both sides. Well, it's looking cool. And then connect those two lines also all the way across. Next, we're gonna start over here and we're gonna draw a line that curves down and towards the middle. We'll do the same thing on this side. 
Now they've got these really cool, they, they look like fangs. We're gonna draw another diagonal line that comes back out. And we're gonna just repeat the same step over here on the same, on the other side. All right, then we'll draw a short line on the bottom. Short line over here. Then we're gonna draw another diagonal line that comes up. Now look, see how I got a little wider at the top? Yeah. Yes, good job, man. All right, and then we're gonna connect these two fangs together. There we go. Awesome, you did it. Now that we have the lower part finished, let's draw the headlamps above this line. So we're gonna start right here, you see this corner? We're gonna draw and add another little point right above it. We'll do the same thing over here in the same spot. Cool, now we're gonna draw a short line for the bottom of the headlamp, coming in on both sides. Then we're gonna draw a line that angles up and back out. Then we'll also add that diagonal line over here for this headlamp. All right, now let's draw the top. Now this line is gonna angle down and we're gonna go past the bottom edge of the lamp. And we'll do the same thing over here. I like repeating the same step each time we do it on both sides. Next, we're gonna draw a short line down on both sides, just really short. And then we'll connect with a diagonal line on each side. There's the shape of the headlamps. Next, let's draw the really cool details inside of the headlamp. We're first gonna draw a diagonal line inside that's gonna cut off this corner. Then we're gonna draw a line that matches the top and we're not gonna go all the way across. We'll do the same thing over here on this side. Next, let's draw a diagonal line that comes down and then bends right before you get to the bottom of the headlamp. We'll do the same thing over here. Diagonal line, and then right at the end, straight line. Then we're gonna draw a short line on the outside. Then we'll draw another short line coming down. And then we'll draw a line going back up. Looks like the letter Y. Yeah. We'll do the same thing over here. That short line down and we'll draw another diagonal line, and then back up and connect to the top. That's really cool. It's gonna look even cooler once we color it. All right, Jack, what should we draw next? The windshield. The windshield. All right, we're gonna draw a diagonal line. We're gonna start right above the headlamp, and we're gonna draw a diagonal line. And it's gonna be a really extreme diagonal line because Lamborghinis are really low to the ground, and the glass is tipped in really far. So let's draw that same diagonal line on the other side. Start in the same spot angled in and the same height. So this one, I went a little higher. You can come back over here and match the other side if you need to. Now we're gonna draw a curve to connect these two lines. We'll come over to the other side and right before you go in, just curve it in so that there's not a corner on the end. Now that's the outside of the body. Let's draw the actual windshield. We'll come back over here and we're gonna draw another line that comes up next to it and the same thing over here on this side. Good job, and then let's connect those two lines also. All right, Jack, what are we missing? The side mirrors. Yeah, let's first draw a straight line right above the wheel arch. Then we're gonna draw a little arrow shape on the end. All right, and then we can draw a bigger arrow shape on the other side. Next, let's connect the top and also the bottom. And then we'll draw two lines to connect the mirror into the body. Let's repeat those same steps over here on the right side. We'll draw the straight line first. We'll go a little faster since we're just repeating the same steps. We'll draw the little arrow line and we'll draw a bigger arrow, arrow line on the inside and then connect the top and also the bottom and then two lines into the body. Let's also add the hood line. We're gonna draw a diagonal line that connects from the mirror down to the headlight and we'll do the same thing over here. 
Good job. Then we're gonna draw another part line right here that connects from the outside to the bottom of the light, the headlight, and then we'll do the same thing over here. Jack, we're almost done. Let's add the wheels. We're gonna extend the sideline down a little further on both sides. Then we'll draw the bottom of the tire coming in and then connect up back up to the body. We'll do the same thing over here on this side, in and then connect back up. Nice, now let's draw the back wheel. We'll draw another line that's higher than the bottom of the front tire. We'll come in and then connect up also. We'll do the same thing over here. Same thing on both sides. What are we missing, Jack? The hood emblem. Yeah, right here we're gonna draw a V right in the middle of our car. And I'm curving it just a little on each side and then we can connect the top. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our Lamborghini. It looks really cool, except it's gonna look even better once we do what? Color it. Yeah, this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Jack, great job on coloring your Aventador. Did you have fun? Yes. It looks super cool and you can be super proud of your drawing. It's okay that our two drawings look a little different. They both look awesome. And that's because the most important thing is to have fun. Have fun and to practice. practice. Yeah. We first colored our cars with markers. Markers to get that solid orange and solid yellow. Then we went back over with a darker orange and a darker yellow add these different angles. Then after that we used our colored pencils. Yeah, our colored pencils, our gray colored pencil for the window, white colored pencil to add all of the highlights. Cool highlights and details on the bottom part. And then we also used our black to add extra shading. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Lamborghini. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and remember to practice. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.